hi guys welcome to my channel if you are interested in a get ready with me video then here you go okay we are going to be doing this look here yes yes okay um i'm not going to be wearing this but this is going to be the makeup for it it is like a night out kind of thing you know i will wear this if i'm going to the movies or um I actually will wear this to work because I'm kind of dramatic, okay? So, yeah, if you want to see how I got my face like this, then you got to talk to my mama and my daddy. But, enhanced, like, with all of this makeup and stuff, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to get your makeup like this. Not this face because only God could create this, okay? Love you guys okay as you can see i already have my eyes taped the point of the tape is to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow just to keep it nice and clean this is max 224 s brush i'm going in with that brush in with the huda beauty palette and i am going in with the color blazing and all i'm doing is going back and forth and forth and back with the color Now we are going in with the color Saffron or Saffron, don't correct me if I'm wrong. And we are going over the other color that we initially put on, which is Blazing. And we are just going to apply it on top of it just to make the shadows a little bit warmer. Okay, so now we are going in with the color OUD and we are putting that in the outer corner of our eyelids just to make sure that we get that smoky effect. Now I'm going in with Max NC40 Studio Finish Concealer and I am just going to go over the eyeshadow just on the lid just to make sure that the color that we put on the lid is going to pop. We don't want to have any eyeshadow underneath. Well, we have it underneath, but it's underneath the concealer. So you put a concealer on just so your eyeshadow can pop and that's what we are doing now. Preparing to pop that eyeshadow. Using the same palette, we are going in with Celestial or Celestial. Again, don't correct me if I'm wrong. And we are going in with Nefertiti. We are going to mix them up and put that on the lid. Together, they make a beautiful combination, a beautiful gold combination. It's really pretty. Now I am going to take my sponge and I am just going to blend out the top portion of the eyeshadow right under the brow. We're going to blend it out just so it can have a seamless effect. We don't want to have any harsh lines and that is the point of the blender. We're just going to blend it out. 
This is the NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. The color that I have is Cadiz. It is a medium dark. What I'm doing now is applying it all over my face and neck. And the reason you apply it on your neck is so the foundation can be the same color as your neck because we don't want to be too toned. I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus just so the foundation can evenly go on the face without having any problems. It, it really gives a smooth application whenever you use the Fix Plus. Now I am going in with Tarte's Shape Tape. It is a matte foundation, excuse me. Um, it is in the color Deep Honey. And I'm just putting it under my eyes and on my cheeks just because I didn't like how the NARS foundation was by itself. And again, I am using my brush and I am just going to evenly apply the foundation all over my face. I am going in with Max NC40 Studio Finish Concealer and I am going to use a damp blender and I am going to put the concealer under my eyes. Now I am going in with the Broadway Colors Concealer Cream. It is in Beige Glow. It comes from the dollar store, the yellow dollar store, not the red one. Thank you. 
going in with Sephora's concealer palette. I'm not sure if it comes in different shades um, for different skin tones, but if it does, just get one that's close to your skin tone. And I'm going in with the darkest brown in the palette, and I am just applying it on my cheeks. And I am going to apply it on my jawline. And the reason for that is to get a slimmer looking face. Okay, so now I am going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Y'all, I could have died one day. My sister came over here and she was like, Oh, I've been looking all over the place for this Benai <laughs> Banana Powder. It was hilarious. So anyway, I'm going under my eyes just to set the concealer. You know, my eyes look so oily. But anyway, we are going under there to set the concealer just so it can have a matte finish. And so that the makeup can last longer. So now I am going back in the Sephora palette with the second to darkest brown and I am going to contour this big old nose of mine.
Okay, all I'm doing is just getting this fluffy brush and I am blending everything, dusting away all the Bendai powder. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. So now I am taking a smudge brush and I am going to apply some eyeshadow to the bottom line, the bottom lash line. The color that I'm going to use is the saffron or saffron and yeah, that's all I'm doing is just lining the bottom with eyeshadow. If you are a beginner then tape should be your best friend and when you have tape it's so much easier to maneuver around as you can see I use tape a lot um, tape is going to create this beautiful wing liner that I'm about to do I'm gonna do it on camera then I'm gonna get off camera because it's kind of hard to do it with the camera on you so I kind of needed to focus I apply my eyeliner off camera. I did use tape. Tape is so much easier when you want to have a perfect eyeliner. Now I am going in to highlight. This is Too Faced, The Bronzed and The Beautiful. I usually use Sun Bunny and I mix it with Snow Bunny. Um, yeah, so I love that look. So you can do either or. They basically are the same to me, but that's what I'm doing, applying a highlight. Now I am going in with Max Lip Liner. This is the color Chestnut and I am just going to line my lips. Just kidding <laughs> now we are going to go in wait what we're going in with oh I can't find it oh there you go this is max velvet Teddy I know you can't see it but that's why I told you 
Velvet Teddy. Fix your hair, girl. Yeah, you cute girl. Alright, guess where I got this outfit from? You guessed it, Fashion Nova. This bodysuit is from Fashion Nova and these pants are from Fashion Nova. I went down from a 13 to an 11. You go, girl. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. And that is the end of my Get Ready With Me. Thanks for watching.